What's up everybody? My name is Scott and you're watching Kentucky Ballistics and today we're gonna shoot some slap rounds in my 50 B. Wait, stop! Who are you? I'm you, I'm Scott from the future. No, you're not. Tell, tell me something that only I would know. You don't wash your hands after you poop. That's not true. Are those Crocs? There's no socks in the future. So you gotta keep your feet dry. There's holes in the Crocs. Listen, I don't have time to explain the Crocs. Do not shoot that slap round. Why are you wearing two pairs of sunglasses? There's so many UV rays in the future that if you don't wear two pairs of sunglasses, you'll go blind, okay? Speaking of blind, do not shoot that slap round. Is that a fanny pack? Glad to know Scott of the future is so cool. What are you also like an eggplant farmer? As a matter of fact, I'm a world renowned eggplant chef. <laughs> Oh my gosh, you're such a loser. You know what, I came back to try and help you and you're nothing but rude. You Go ahead and shoot that slap round. As a matter of fact, shoot two of them. <laughs> what a loser. What's up everybody? My name is Scott and you're watching Kentucky Ballistics. We're back out on the range and I didn't know if you know this, but I read the comments and I've seen where some of you have been talking smack saying that I'm scared of my 50 cows. Why haven't you shot any 50 cows? Well, guess what? That's what we're going to do today. Let's go check these things out and get started. So today I got both of my 50 cows out here with me, the Serbu BFG 50A with the American flag Cerakote and the Barrett M82A1, both are semi-automatic rifles chambered in the 50 BMG cartridge. I have a special relationship with 50 BMGs now, but I still love them, and today we're gonna have some fun with them. So let's go get loaded up and get started. We're gonna start out with this 55 gallon drum of water. All right, we're gonna start out with the Barrett, and I'm loaded up with 10 rounds of 50 BMG full metal jackets. Ow! I have to say, I have not shot a 50 cal standing since my accident. I forgot how much fun that was. <laughs> it doesn't look like there was water in this thing for very long because the whole back is split open. <laughs> Donkey Kong for real. Good one. <laughs> yep. Now, so up next, I have uh, 25 gallons of Jello. Oh. Oh. I don't know if that's going to be enough Jello to stop a 50 cal, but it's definitely going to look awesome on the slow mo camera. All right, up next, we're gonna use the Serbu BFG 50A. This is a lot lighter than the Barrett. And again, we're loaded up with a 50 BMG full metal jacket. <laughs> I think it's gonna go through all five. I got smacked in the face with Jella. Not the first time something slapped me in the face when I shot a 50 cal. <laughs> we uh, made one heck of a mess. I mean, look at this. First one completely detonated. And, oh dear, this, this is wonderful. Looks like we got two of them that are still okay, kinda. No, it went in it. Went inside. This one, and then 
did not make it into the fifth jug of jello. Ew! There's no hole in the table. So that means there should be a round inside this jug, unless it slipped out the bottom, which it very well may have. Gross. This is disgusting. It's cold and feels weird. Oh, a uh, piece of jug. Nope. Nope. Darn it. Not gonna lie, I almost slipped just then. <laughs> you thought the jello was gross. This is about to be disgusting. Five gallons of mayo. All right, we got the Serbu again with one round of 50 BMG full metal jack. Oh. <laughs> All right, let's have a look at this mess. Oh my gosh. Not really gonna touch much of this. I think we hit a little low. I was aiming high. Mm, yeah, definitely hit low. We are gonna scoot this back. All right, let's take one more shot. Oh, aim a little higher this time. Oh! <laughs> that did it that time. Okay, well, I successfully decorated the berm. Look at this. This is so gross. There's jello all over the top of the berm, along with mayonnaise. And uh, I don't know if you noticed, but Stretch Armstrong's head uh, was on top of that jug, and I'm pretty sure he's in the stratosphere somewhere now. Up next, we're gonna shoot some hominy. This has proven to be pretty eventful on the slow-mo camera. Really curious to see what happens when we hit it with the 50. All right, there we go. Two cans of hominy. This is gonna be messy. Here we go. I'm gonna aim a little high. <laughs> Normally the hominy comes raining down like hail, but we vaporized most of that. That was a good hit. Right through the middle. Woo, oh gosh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Up next, we're gonna shoot some nacho cheese. And I know there's a lot of you that are getting tired of me shooting nacho cheese and you're tired of my nacho cheese bit. Well, you need to just mind your own business because this cheese right here is nacho cheese. <laughs> So much for having to destroy the table today. Thanks a lot, 50 Cal. Save some fun for everyone else, why don't you? Well, I have to say, this is one of the bigger messes I've made. <laughs> but one man's trash is another man's treasure. This is awful, but there are some raccoons out in them woods. They are so excited. This Atlas stone over here, look at this, this spray. And this thing is just peppered with uh, jello, mayonnaise, nacho cheese, everything over here is the ballistic gel. It's just sprayed. Just notice this, look at this. From the day of the accident, the round I shot right before the gun detonated is still stuck in this fire hydrant right there. Memories. I feel like there's only one proper way to end today's video, and that's a mag dump with each 50 cal. Ooh. Needs a little oil. You just got jammed.
bit of a jam there. Oh, the Barrett is so much heavier than that Sarbu. Ridiculous. You got nacho cheese on me. Ow! Ow! You know, I was gonna take it easy on you with the bat, but now you didn't got me muddy. You didn't got nacho cheese on me. No, 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 no. Well, that's gonna be it for today's video. I had a lot of fun with my 50 cows today. If you had to pick a 50 cow, what would you pick? Leave your answers in the comment section down below. If you enjoyed today's video, do me a big favor, give it a like, and if you're not subscribed to Kentucky Ballistics, do yourself a favor and hit that subscribe button. Also be sure and check me out on Kentucky Customs, Kentucky Ballistics Shorts, Patreon, Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. Links to all those can be found in the description down below or over on my website, KentuckyBallistics.com, just in case you wanna pick up a shirt. And as always, my name is Scott. Thank you so much for watching Kentucky Ballistics. And I'll see you next time.